Hi everyone, uh, today I wanted to uh, do my book haul for the month of July and I have a huge book haul. Um, I have 20 books and I only actually bought six of them for myself. Um, there was a family where I work and they were so generous and they actually gave me a set of like three series. So that's a lot of the books that you're going to see. So let's get started. Um, yeah, so here are the first ones. So the first ones that they gave me was the Percy Jackson Heroes of Olympus series. Um, this is a middle grade uh, series. It's uh, five books and uh, they're very popular. Greek mythology, um, adventure. So it has the Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, the Titan's Curse, the Battle of the Labyrinth, and the Last Olympian. So um, the whole box set of that. And they are so nice, so I was very excited to, uh, to get these. So, that was the first one. Um, the second series that they gave me was um, Azerland Trilogy. Uh, I don't know much about this um, trilogy. Uh, it is by Anne Aguirre. And it, from what I see, it's like a dystopian, futuristic, apocalyptic... Um, just adventure series, so uh, I'm kind of excited to, to read that one too. Um, the Percy Jackson series uh, was written by uh, Rick Wright Orton. And the last series they gave me is a series of six books, and it's the Cassandra Clare, <laughs> the Cassandra Clare, um, uh, Mortal Instruments series. So it's a series that I've wanted to read. I keep seeing coming up and I was so excited when they mentioned that this was one of the series. Um, it is The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, um, City of Ashes, City of Glass, Fallen Angel, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. So I was so, so excited to read this. I have, I have uh, Cassandra Clare's other series, the uh, Divine, uh, <laughs> Infernal Devices. <laughs> um, so I am excited to have uh, this one. So hopefully I will start reading some more Cassandra Clare. So again, thank you so much for uh, all those series. I was so excited to get them. And now the books that I got for myself. Uh, the first one is one that I actually got today, and or yesterday, and it is Lucky in Love by uh, Casey West. Um, as if you guys have seen some of my videos, I love Casey West. I've been getting addicted to her books. Just cute little romance books. Um, and the cover is so adorable. And the back cover is really adorable too. It's very, it almost feels very Valentine's. Um, but uh, this is Lucky in Love by Casey West. And it's about a girl who wins the lottery, but uh, her best friend doesn't... Um, know that and uh, Maddie the girl who wins the lottery uh, she kind of doesn't want to tell her him because he's always treated her the same and she doesn't want that to change so I'm about halfway done and it's just very very cute so uh, lucky in love by Casey West another one I got so I actually bought this one, I bought the other first two on my iPad, but I'm not counting that. <laughs> um, but Lois Lane, Triple Threat, um, a novel by Gwenda Bond. This is the third book in the Lois Lane series. It kind of is like the origin stories of Lois Lane. Um, this was such a fun, fun, fun series to read. Um, each book, she goes through adventures, and um, with the help of someone on, on the internet named Smallville Guy. So it's kind of fun to see her interact with Clark before. She actually interacts with Clark. So, uh, Lois Lane, Triple Threat. If you have, um, I will link the, I did a re review of it, so I will link that down below. 
Uh, the next one was uh, Everland by Wendy Spinelli. It's kind of a, a dark steampunk uh, retelling of Peter Pan. And she also wrote one on it, which is kind of like a Alice in Wonderland retelling. So I, it was on sale, so I decided to, uh, to get it. So kind of excited to, to read that one. Uh, another one, this was kind of a bit of an impulse buy, uh, but uh, this one is uh, Dark Breaks the Dawn by Sarah B. Larson, and this is the first book, and I believe a duology, and it's kind of a retelling of Swan Lake, and I think that's kind of one of, one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, read it, uh, because I do like Swan Lake, so uh, I get to read it, but I think I'll like it. Uh, the next book is one that I got in the Lit Crate Joy uh, box, and it is uh, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Uh, this is about uh, time traveling and magicians and magic and saving the future. Um, it's about a girl named Esta, and she has to, uh, what's the catchphrase? Stop the magician, steal the book, save the future. So, um, it seems like a very, uh, a fun read. It says that if, I kept hearing that if it's, you like Fantastic Beasts, Sherlock, um, uh, that you'll, you'll like this. So, I'm, ex I'm excited to read that. And, uh, the last book that I got is actually a graphic novel, and it is, uh, Superman, Secret Identity. Um, as you guys know, I've been getting into art, graphic novels, things like that, and, uh, I wanted to get one, I, I think Superman's probably one of my more favorite, uh, superheroes, and I, I just like the chemistry between him and Lois Lane. As you can see, I got some books on Lois Lane, and, um, this graphic novel is kind of like if the Clark Kent never like, if he, if there was more focus on the Clark Kent aspect of him than the Superman aspect of him, um, like, what if he had gotten married, um, children, what if, you know, things like that. So it kind of develops more into the private life of Clark Kent. Um, so there's some of that. Some more. So, um, it seems, I started reading it, and it seems like a very good book. Um, so, yeah, so those were my, that was my book haul for, uh, July. Um, I am so excited to start reading some of these. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, what are some of the books that you got this month? Uh, hope, uh, what books are you excited for August? I know there's a lot coming out. And uh, anyway, hope you like this video, uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.